good John welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions it's your boy J.I. and I'm back at it again with another banger for you guys now as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail this video right here is very special and it's special because today's video is sponsored by and brought to you by Op7 Lighting my newest channel sponsor they were so nice enough to go ahead and send your boy a care package which actually includes their newest latest and greatest software um for basically all your lighting needs honestly you know to control your underglow it can control your rgbw halo lights it can control the lights that we have sitting in this packaging right here which is basically the footwell lights honestly they have basically redone the idea of you know what i'm saying having multiple controllers on your phone for all of your lighting services so with that being said man as y'all can probably tell i've already ripping up this packaging to get straight into it so we have the Aura Pro is what is based is what it's called and now this right here like I say you can control uh, I think it's up to five devices if I'm not mistaken um, and we let me just put that to the side because we also got some goodies in here man you know y'all know I like the goodies so like I say man op7 was nice enough to go ahead and send us a care package they got us a nice shirt in here and they also gave us the Opt, um, the Aura, the Aura controlling, oh yeah, so we got that Op7 team merch right there, you feel me, yes sir, again, big shout out to them, the link is in the description down below if you guys are interested in getting anything um, for your car as far as lighting goes, man, make sure you hit up my guys over there at Op7, but with that being said, let's go ahead and pop this plastic off and check out their latest and greatest uh, development. You dig what I'm saying? Okay, got a nice little sticker seal on there. Hit that. The little, you know, snap-on knife, you feel me? Ain't sponsored by Snap-on yet, but hopefully one day. Speaking into existence. So go ahead. Okay. All right, all right. So, inside of this box, you got two other boxes you have a support guide right here i gotta say bro their support team is definitely um definitely great compared to oh no nah, the sprinklers just cut on and i just washed my car so we're gonna move reaper so like i said in that box you have two extra boxes now i'm assuming one of these boxes has yup okay so this box has all your hardware some extra zip ties you know if you're a car guy or car girl you already know how handy these joints come in so huge shout out to op7 for that you know what i'm saying and you got your harnesses your wiring harnesses i guess these are some extensions right here yeah some extensions and then this is if so you got two options option a you can run this to the um to the fuse box of your car and your battery or option b you can plug it into a cigarette lighter so you if you're not you know what i'm saying big on wiring and stuff like that and that stuff confuses you it's all good don't worry we got you covered you can just plug it into your cigarette lighter via the cigarette lighter port you know what i'm saying so the second box obviously we will have your little fuse um, for the fuse box and then it has I'm assuming this is okay this is an adhesive booster so maybe like a, a wet pad or something like that to clean the um, let me get that to focus for y'all basically to get it uh, your surface as clean as possible then you have the module itself the control module itself I'm saying and this is this is the newest latest and greatest uh, device right here so this right here can control up to I think it's like four or five different light sources on your car so instead of having multiple controllers you can literally just go to one app and control all of them at the same time um, and then you have your light bars so they were live enough to send me two strips now 
as y'all know, we got the Stang, you feel me? The Stang is definitely a two-seater car, bro. The rear seat doesn't really count. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and stop all the lollygagging and get straight into this install, man. Um, I think what I'm going to do for the video purposes is just go ahead and install it into the cigarette lighter because, one, I really don't use my cigarette lighter, so it's cool. This joint can definitely take up that place um, on this cigarette lighter in the dashboard. And uh, yeah, man, that way I can uh, go ahead and get you guys this video, get you, let you guys see how dope this is and how easy it is to install. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and hit a little test run. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into the cigarette lighter. Got a little red dot that shines up on it to show you that it's working. And then you take the controller and you connect these two ends right here. Sorry, y'all, it's kind of hard to do with one hand, but once you get it connected, then you'll get a flashing light on the uh, module itself and then what you'll do is you'll plug in the LED strips set y'all boys up let's go ahead and hit that okay so we got one of them plugged in right now I'm gonna go ahead and download the app on my phone and get these to turn on alright y'all so they make it super easy to download the app they have a QR code on the back of the module itself all you have to do is get your camera to focus on it Scan that bar hole, barcode. My camera is cracked, so it's gonna take a minute for it to focus. Hold on, y'all. All right, y'all. Once y'all get the QR code scanned, you can go ahead and download the app. Now it's dope because they have this app on both Apple and Google Play. You dig what I'm saying? So you let the app download, and then once it's fully downloaded, you can go ahead and start testing so give me one second let me let it finish downloading and I'll get back All right, to you guys so coming into the app right let's go ahead and talk about some of these features because it's pretty cool man so as you guys can see that's your on off button with it on it'll go ahead and you know turn the lights on and it shows you what color that you're on but I want to talk to you guys about some of these modes man because it's actually pretty dope so basically not only do you have you know the color wheel so you can spin through and select what color you want they also Dude, went ahead big copy right they also went ahead and included this navigation function which basically while you're using the navigation system the footwell lights will guide you so say you need to turn right right let's go ahead and um let's let's put an address in real quick now, as y'all can see, it's going to tell us what directions we need to go. Y'all just watch that. Okay, so you see that light that's flashing? I got to turn right. So, the passenger side is going to flash because I need to go right. So, as y'all can see, I need to make that right. And that joint started flashing on the passenger side. So, that's one of the dopest features and then what's crazy about it is you can set whatever color you want to flash um for the turn signals like whenever it's time to turn you can set whatever color you want to be that also same thing for the speed uh warning you can also choose what color it'll be and let's see if i can get that speed limit warning to go crazy for y'all so right now the speed limit as y'all can see it's 40 miles per hour. Let's see. Look, there it is. So, look, I'm at 40 right now. It's blinking green. Now that I done went over 40, it's red. I'm doing like 45, and it's red. But, yeah, man, as you guys can see, the lights are super bright. You can also, you know what I'm saying, go on the app and turn them down. Like, you don't have to have the brightness all the way up. Um, so, you just grab the slider dim them down a little bit as you can see that's completely off that's about halfway i usually keep them like right there just so that they're bright but not stupid bright but yeah man just a quick disclosure bro when you're installing these strips bro please 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 please, please i cannot stress this enough make sure you pay attention to the left and the right side on the ro7 because if you don't and you connect them wrong, you flip, you know, flip the sides and end up connecting the passenger side to the driver's side. That's what the R7 is going to think. So when you're using the navigation system um, feature that I just showed you guys, 
basically instead of the car flat instead of the passenger footwell flashing to let you know that you need to turn right the driver's side footwell will flash to show you that you're supposed to turn right so it's gonna be all kinds of discombobulated and this is what it looks like all right y'all so we're about to have a left turn coming up as y'all can see we got the gps on right now we're about to have a left turn coming up now watch this Watch, watch the footwell, the driver's side footwell, watch that. Y'all see that? You see how I go black? So basically on these modes, right, you're gonna go to, let's go to the sound scenic. As you guys can hear and see, with me talking, the colors are changing every word that I say. So just like it's doing that right now for my voice it does that with music now obviously i'm not gonna play any music right now because of copyright purposes but that's hella dope so say you're at a car meet you got your music playing windows down you know what i'm saying and you can have this joint you know a nice little nightclub so yeah that's a dope feature then you have the cycle feature where basically it just runs through all the colors that they have you can go to the color fade where it will basically blink the color that you've selected or you can go to strobe and strobe you know is a strobe light like at the club it flashes them so then you come to this door assist right here now this is really dope if you go ahead and wire in the module to your dome light whenever you open whichever door the lights will show up so it's basically like if you had a premium model mustang gt they have the footwell lights, they also have the lights in the door carts, and then they have the lights in the cup holder. And basically, whenever you open the doors on a premium model, those lights pop up. So this is basically the same function. So that's hella dope to have that in the footwell lights and have it be integrated with your, you know, with your app. That's super dope to me. Now, with that being said, as you guys may or may not know, me, myself, J.I., I'm not the best when it comes to wiring and stuff like that, but don't worry about it. In the description down below, I will have the link to the instruction manual and also the website. You can, like I say, the support team is super, super helpful. There's videos, there's instruction manuals online, and then you also get the instruction manuals in the boxes that have wiring diagrams to show you either A, how to wire the module to the dome light, B, how to wire the module to the fuse box so that you don't have to use the cigarette lighter like I did, or even C, how to use the cigarette lighter. Now, the only issue that you would come, um, that would fall into place with you as far as installation goes is if you were to connect the left side wires to the right side wires then your your strips are not going to light up that is literally the only issue the only way that you can mess up this install so just make sure you pay attention to the l and the r when hooking up the wires and you should be straight no issue so yeah man like i say Y'all make sure y'all tap in with Op7. The link is in the description down below. Also, the promo code is in the description down below. Make sure you guys go ahead and use it to save yourself some money on any of the products that they have. They have Underglow. They have the interior lighting like I showed you. And then they have the Aura 7. So make sure you guys tap in. All right, y'all. So as y'all can see, excuse the fur. I have a Siberian Husky. As y'all know, you know what I'm saying? Fur gets everywhere. But as you guys can see, we have the... LED strips wired and mounted. Basically, how I did it was I went ahead and I used the zip ties and the adhesive booster that are provided in the kit to go ahead and one, clean the surface. That's, that's like the biggest key to installing these strips. If you want them to stick and you want them to actually be on your car and be solid and not have to worry about them hanging down after a couple of hours of installation, Make sure you use that adhesive boost to clean the surface that you're going to be mounting them to. Once you do that, I guarantee you they're going to stick forever. You'll be straight. No issues. Because that's what I did. I just cleaned down the surface real nice. Um, I used the pad. Once the pad ran out, I went ahead and used some alcohol. Um, get it nice and clean. And then I went ahead and I laid down the strips and I held them for about like 10 seconds um, at each spot. Just put a little bit of pressure just to ensure that they would be sticking on um, completely. And then what I did with the wires, like I said, 
earlier they do give you like some extension wires so that you can run the LED strips from both the passenger and the driver's side to the controller now I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I mounted the controller um, like I said earlier there's not really that much stuff underneath the foot wells of the passenger nor the driver's side for you to you know stick stuff to so what I did was I used those zip ties if you're a car guy or a car girl like I said earlier man zip ties are definitely clutch and op 7 came out and you know went ahead and looked out for us and gave us a whole bunch I think it's like maybe 50 or 40 of them joints so you're not gonna run out at least for one of these installs but basically what I did was I used the zip ties and I took the module and I zip tied it to one of the stronger harnesses that are already in the car because those have their own braces um, connected to the dashboard so I went ahead and I zip tied the module to one of the harnesses as I'll show you I basically just zip tied the module to this harness right here um, and it's it's real nice and secure it's not hanging down or anything you can't see it and then as you guys can see you're probably wondering where are the wires at J.I. basically what I did was I pulled the center console back a little bit and I just grabbed the plastic uh, interior panel popper and I tucked the wires underneath this plastic and I ran it all the way around the center console up to the front for the driver's side with that extension wire that I was telling you guys about and also one of my favorite parts easy kill switch literally easy kill switch and then you just have to go back to the app you know what I'm saying and cut them back on but like I say their customer support is definitely very very uh, helpful you can either call them you can look up the installation manual how to connect it to your fuse if you want to you can watch a video um, on the website if you want to it's super super easy man so make sure you guys tap in with my boys over at op7 lighting if you guys are interested use the promo code in the description down below further ado that's actually gonna wrap up today's video if you guys are new to the channel like I say make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn on those post notifications go ahead down in the description down below check out my guys over at op7 lighting and check them out on Instagram all their scripts all of their information is in the description down below use my promo code if you want to and give this video a big thumbs up drop a comment in the comment section down below let me know what you guys think I'll see y'all in the next one peace